Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendaidoke and in this video I will briefly talk about this series and why I think it's so important. The series mostly builds on each other, so it makes sense to watch the videos in the right order. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription, but let's get started. What is it about? Using envelope generators or envelopes is a very simple and very powerful way to modulate, move and give a character or timbre to a sound. For example, a meep can be made into a ping, or as in the dubstep genre, using an oscillator modulation to make a bass scream. Envelopes are modulators because they basically model and modulate a sound. And if you're wondering what the difference is between modeling and modulating, you've already asked the first really good question. Both cause a change in the sound. Classically, I would say that modeling is giving the sound a shape. It is possibly very strongly related to subtractive sound synthesis. So, simply put, a volume or filter curve with an ADSR envelope is classic modeling for me, where I set the maximum limits, I specify how and when the sound is allowed to rise to the maximum limit, and then how and when it falls again. With modulating, I add something to a sound. As an example, I could take the vibrato where I let the sound fluctuate up and down in its previously fixed pitch it becomes somewhat more complex, maybe like the FM modulation or the phase modulation, where it is already in the word additionally stimulate or modulate a waveform or its phase with another waveform or phase. Many people are already aware of the concept of an envelope, but still they often use it only barely or use it exclusively as a drastic effect. Yet in many areas, they can make the difference between boring and goosebumpy, often by a subtle but specific use. For the start, something basic. What actually is an envelope generator, or in German, eine Hüllkurve? Very simple set. An envelope is a help to automate the manual change of a parameter, like the rise and fall or the louder or softer turning of the volume. So in this case, to model. So it is quite simple. Instead of playing with your hands on knobs and faders, you can automate this with an envelope generator. There are different time specifications for envelopes. Some are specified in seconds and milliseconds, some in percentage, which are based on some other values. Some are then again in different orders of magnitude, synchronizable with a general adjustable speed like the beats per minute, the BPM with the DAW. With different orders of magnitude, then typically such things are meant like hertz, kilohertz, whole notes, quarters, eighths, sixteenths, and so on. An envelope can be defined by various parameters how long, how strong, so the velocity of a keyboard, key or pad is pressed, or how fast it was released, so release velocity. Or also be started by other triggers like channel or poly after touch, also called pressure, that is the function if an additional pressing on the keyboard, key or pad sends a signal with which a parameter can be controlled. The mod wheel, the pitch bend, the sustain pedal, the expression pedal, an MPE controller, by an incoming audio signal and many other triggers and control devices or simply by time. Regardless of which parameters are to be provided with an envelope, an envelope generator or automation, four more points come into play. The starting point, the progression, the intensity and the scope to the starting point. In many cases, an envelope starts when a keyboard key or pad is pressed. However, depending on the envelope and the settings, there's the possibility that the start of the envelope could be pressing a keyboard key or pad, um, is oriented to the course of the track, so something like the beginning of a bar and of course oriented to the bar length like four quarters, three quarters, seven eighths and so on. 
or by some other trigger. The progression of the envelope curve defines how the envelope curve should be integrated, how it should adapt to the speed of the track, the BPM for example, or does it follow its own speed? Should it be run only once? Should it be repeated, so looped? Or is the envelope divided into a beginning and a part that is repeated? Then the intensity of an envelope, how strong, extreme, curvy or weak or strained it is executed is often defined via an amount, a percentage or an intensity slider, often also by the velocity or also by other external signals like sample and hold or envelope followers, noise or any other trigger that can send a value. And finally the scope, what and how the envelope should process. Monophony, should every new note start the envelope again for all already played notes? Polyphony, should every single note get its own envelope, so for every new note a new envelope is started? Paraphony, should the envelope once triggered run to the end no matter how many notes arriving? I made a tutorial that is called Polyphony, Paraphony, Monophony, um, where you can learn some more interesting details about it. Now that we have a basic idea of the creative potential of envelopes or envelope generators, I will give you a short overview of the different envelopes. There is the classical ADSR, Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. Beside it there are further variants like DAHDSR, Delay, Attack, Hold, Decay, Sustain, Release. AHDSR, Attack, Hold, Decay, Sustain, Release. AD, Attack, Decay, also sometimes called Plug EG. AR, Attack, Release, or sometimes One Shot EG, and other variants. Then the LFO, the Low Frequency Oscillator, or in German called Niederfrequenz Oscillator. So a signal uh, generator which runs through a certain course and constantly repeats more or less slowly whether as a sine wave, triangle wave, sawtooth wave, square wave or whatever wave there is. This course is repeated over and over again. MSEG, MSEC, the multi-stage envelope generator. The newest pop star of envelopes is an envelope generator with which very flexible progressions, time settings and loops are possible. MSECs are becoming more and more an integral part of DAWs and synthesizers. And finally, the old automation. While the other envelopes are mostly found in synthesizers in hardware and plugins, automation is the tool found in sequencers in hardware and even more so in DAWs, so digital audio workstations. Now the conclusion. So we now know what an envelope generator or envelope is and have a little overview which are the most common ones. But why does it make sense to use them? The answer is as simple as it is complex. They provide the movement in the sound. They provide the dynamics that can make a sound interesting and surprising. All this is a very basic and one-dimensional view of envelopes or envelope generators. The combination of several envelopes on one sound and on different parameters like volume, filters, resonances, panning, wave shapers and so on creates quite fast a complexity that can lead to very interesting or to very escalating or both kinds of results or just very slow changes in timbre. In many electronic genres modulation even replaces melody and is the foundation of the rhythm. One more reason to deal with the topic of envelopes or envelope generators much more intensively in general. This series is intended to provide the basics for understanding and to give a start to various creative approaches. I would also like to encourage you to share your ideas, workflows or approaches with all of us in the comments. If you like to keep seeing videos like this, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Odo Sendai Dukai. Thanks for watching and paying attention. And if you have any other questions or feedback or you've noticed anything unusual, let me know in the comments. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care 
See you then. Ciao, ciao.